guys welcome back to nature's cadence farm today we're going to be working on babe the 1996 ford f-250 and uh, i've been having some problems with my glow plugs it seems like on a cold morning uh, it doesn't want to seem to start so i kind of popped the hood looked around a little bit i found the glow plug relay and i, th I think i found the problem but let's get in here. I'll show you kind of what I was seeing and what was kind of going on. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. So on top of the engine here, you've got your alternator here on the passenger side front. And you go right back here. And this is the glow plug relay. And you can see this, uh, this used to be attached right here, but it, it, it probably failed over time. Uh, there's... A little bit of current going through these things and uh, this was a BWD brand I bought about 10 years ago and it, it finally failed you know but it has a lifetime warranty on it so it, it doesn't take long to change and it's easy to get to so what I'm gonna do is uh, is get the warranty on this and swap it out but when I popped the hood and started looking around at my glow plug you know system here I was like well there's you know this was all black and charred so what I'm gonna do is take this post out uh, and this nut off right here and this is the the 12 volt positive so this has power coming from the batteries all the time and then when you your glow plug cycle you send power to these two and that closes that relay and that sends power to this wire right here and this wire is what actually goes down to your um, to your wiring harness uh, you know both sides of your wiring harness for your actual glow plug so this is off until the glow plug cycle is initiated so um, you know I guess I've heard this from a friend of mine in, a, in a, an emergency situation um, what you could do since this is you know this might not be connected and this is what happened to it you could actually very carefully take your jumper cables and uh, and jumper across from this terminal to this terminal with with your you know let's say your red wire and what that'll do, and, and you only want to do that for, you know, let's say 10 to 15 seconds. And what that'll do is send power from here to here and get those glow plugs heated up. So um, I've had to do that before. I was at work. It was uh, midnight when I got off of work. And and this thing, it, it just, it died. You know, it just, it went out. That was the first time it happened. So maybe it was about eight or nine years ago now. Either way. Um, but yeah, so so that's what you need to do and so what we're gonna do now is go ahead and get in here And we're gonna take all this stuff apart and we'll go ahead and get a new Relay and get that installed First thing we're gonna do is uh, try to get this uh, Stud and all this junk off of here. Hopefully the the new uh, Solenoid will have uh, hardware on it, but either way this is a 14 millimeter on this side here so 14 millimeter there i'm going to put my ratchet on here and remember um this broke off here so what we're going to need to do is put a pair of pliers or something on it so i've got these uh these pliers here so let's go ahead and put that on on here and see if we can get this broken oh yeah oh it it came right off that might have been the problem I don't know maybe just the heat and, and everything kind of made it nice and loose but it seems like it came right off of there pretty easy well there was a lock washer on there so maybe that wasn't the problem but nonetheless we we're gonna replace it now either either way so we've got that pulled off great uh, next up let's see if we can get this um, this guy right here off so this does not have much room to work but there we go we did get it loosened up perfect so we'll back that nut off looks like on the very end of that stud it kind of got a little a little tight but there we go we'll pull that off to the side get this guy out of the way over here somewhere Let's go ahead and put it back in this little sleeve that kind of melted and fell all apart but that's okay all right, so we got a um, looks like a 10 millimeter right here. Sure is, maybe a nine. It felt a little loose. I've got a nine millimeter here. Nope, definitely a 10. All right, so I've got a deep well, quarter inch ratchet here. Pop that off. Pop 
pop this off here. I like to leave the the bracket still attached while I'm doing all this kind of stuff because it makes it nice to um, to be able to kind of manipulate the the ratchet because it's got something to kind of turn against. So if you had it kind of loosened up down there already, you uh, you might have a little trouble popping these these nuts loose off of these studs. So I like to leave that as the last thing I do. Now I've got an eight millimeter on a three inch extension and that'll go right down to that bolt that holds this glow plug relay. That's in there tight. There we go. You've got it pretty much finger tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and back these off the rest of the way and get those out of there. And there we go. So we've got our old relay here and you can see it is absolutely toast in there. So I'm going to go get a new one of these and um, we'll go ahead and get that new one installed. Got a new solenoid here and uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, go ahead and reinstall it. So uh, what all I did was I left one of these screws still in here and I'm going to uh, just start this one in here so that bracket doesn't fall all over the place. So let's get that started. So once I have that first screw started, I'm going to go ahead and thread this next one in here. And that'll hold everything kind of in place. See how that bracket likes to walk around on you? So I'll just try to get everything halfway lined up. And then down into the hole there. Next up, we'll go ahead and get this, uh, maybe get this large wire installed on there. And uh, that'll make it easier to work around everything else. So go ahead and back this nut off right here. And uh, the lock washer that's underneath of there, I'll go ahead and um, take that off too. Drop that ring terminal right on there. Go ahead and install your lock washer there and get your nuts started. All right, next up, we'll go ahead and get this, this wire started over here. And these are pretty obvious where they go. I just separated them out to where they were on one side or the other. Went ahead and put my wire on there and got my ring or my lock washer and now I'm installing the nut. I right, got the hardware off for the next terminal. Gonna go ahead and put that one in place and lock washer and nut on that one. Alright, we'll go ahead and get this wire installed now. Go ahead and get that in place. Slid down on there. Lock washer goes first and then your uh, nut. All right, we'll go ahead and start with the small ones. This is a 10 millimeter socket. You don't have to have the extension on there. It just makes it easier to video. And uh, we'll just go tight, tight with those. And this one over here, might have to work around that plastic a little bit. There we go. All right, got that on there. Now we're gonna get the larger ones. All right, got a 13 millimeter deep well on here. We're not going to go crazy tight on these either, but we're going to get definitely get them tight. I'm sure there's a torque spec. If I find it, I'll um, I'll put it down in the video there. But there you go. That's that's what you need. They're not loose. They're tight enough. So let's go ahead and get a multimeter on here, and we'll check to make sure the solenoid is working now. So when they turn the ignition on, we should see this line that goes to the wiring harness for the valve covers uh, get power on it when the key is cycled. So let's do that. All right, I've got my meter set to volts DC here and I've got my ground clamp on the alternator housing. And then I've got my positive lead here. I'm gonna put it on this terminal first. Now this comes right off the battery. So I'm getting 12.63 volts from the battery. So that's, that's good. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this terminal here 
I'm going to go cycle the key and we should see this uh, this voltage go up when the glow plugs cycle. Okay, you can see the uh, the glow plugs are actually on right now and you can see I'm getting 11.48 volts because uh, I'm sure I've got some other things drawing power right now. So let's see what the voltage is coming in. 11.6. So there's a little bit of voltage drop across this uh, this relay, which is is fine. It's you know totally fine. So I'm going to let those glow plugs sit there until they turn themselves off. Okay, there it just dropped out, and the voltage on the other side of this you know the glow plug relay is, is off now. So that is a complete cycle of the glow plugs from cold. Uh, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but the uh, the time that the glow plugs stay on is dependent upon coolant temperature and oil temperature. Um, but that's what determines how long the glow plugs actually cycle for. So you can see the wait to start light doesn't actually indicate whether the glow plugs are on and off because the wait to start only comes on for you know 10 seconds or whatever before you actually start it. So. Anyway, so there we go. So the, the relay is working fine. I should not have any issues with it now. All right, well, there you go. We got Bay back up and running, and it uh, was not a hard job at all. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.